Hey y'all, this is Amanda. This is my YouTube channel for A Different Beat. Today we're gonna to be talking about breakfast and some ideas and things that we've heard people say about breakfast, about when to eat it or if to eat it. Um, and then I'm gonna be showing y'all a family recipe for wheat germ muffins. So if you haven't already, click the subscribe link below and let's get into it. Okay, so before we get started, I did wanna mention I am a certified nutrition and wellness consultant. So what that means is that I can show how to incorporate healthy habits into your daily life, but I am not a doctor. So if you are thinking of changing your diet in any way, always consult your doctor that knows your needs. Uh, the other thing that I did wanna mention is that I am vegetarian and I'm also allergic to dairy. So the recipes that I show are recipes that I make for myself, but I'm not promoting a vegetarian diet. The whole purpose of a different beat is that every Everyone has their unique beat when it comes to their specific needs and their unique diet. So let's start talking about breakfast. So the timing of meals can be a very large topic. Um, so for this video, we're just gonna be talking about breakfast and specifically two points um, that people usually will mention about breakfast um, is either skipping breakfast and its effect on weight and then also the effect on the metabolism. So let's start talking about that. Um, the thing that people say is that eating breakfast kickstarts your metabolism. Let's see whether that's actually true or not. So your metabolism. So the idea is, is that um, eating breakfast kickstarts your metabolism. Um, and what your metabolism is, is the thermic effect on food, meaning that after you eat, you have an increase of calories burned. So the idea is, is that eating breakfast allows you to burn more calories throughout the day. So there was a study done in 2014 that had a group of people eat breakfast and then another group of people skipping breakfast. And what they found was that within a 24 hour period, the amount of calories burned was relatively the same. So whether you ate first thing in the morning or you waited until later to start eating, it didn't really matter with the amount of calories burned. What is important for your metabolism is not necessarily when you eat, but the amount of food that you're eating and making sure that you are eating enough food throughout the day. Um, that really is the most important thing to keep your metabolism going and you keeping burning calories throughout the day. So there is the idea that if someone skips breakfast, they eat more calories throughout the rest of the day. Um, and although that it is true that usually if someone does skip breakfast, they eat larger, a larger lunch or a larger dinner later on, it usually is about the same amount of calories that they would have eaten if they would have had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, so really, it doesn't really make or break um, whether you have breakfast or not, or if you're having a larger lunch and dinner, um, usually it's within the same amount of calories either way. Um, this does kind of bring into question um, intermittent fasting, and I'm not going to get into major detail, but with intermittent fasting, you are eating um, at certain times of the day and then fasting at other times of the day, and you are eating your set amount of calories for that day within a certain window of time, um, which this does help people eat at a caloric deficit, um, but so can planning out your meals and including breakfast. So however way that you are able to um, eat at a small portion of a caloric deficit in a healthy way and maintain that, it will result in weight loss. For some people, it might be easier to be able to skip breakfast and not eat until 11 or 12, um, but for other people, it might be easier to have a small breakfast and eat throughout the day. So however way that you are able to maintain a caloric deficit, that's really what affects weight, not necessarily the timing of your meals. So the link to those studies, both of them about the metabolism and the effect on weight management, 
and breakfast, both of those are linked below. Um, but the main thing to take away from this is whether you want to eat breakfast or not. Um, when it comes to weight management and your metabolism, what's important is um, your total average caloric intake over weeks and months um, and making sure that you're eating enough throughout the day and making sure that it is a variety of healthy foods. So I would like to know how many breakfast eaters that we have and how many just skip over and wait till lunch. Um, it is an interesting just fact that I like to, to know. So if you are a breakfast eater, let me know in the comments below. Um, speaking of breakfast, I do have a family recipe um, that I'm going to be sharing with y'all. It is a wheat germ muffin recipe. And what wheat germ is, is that it is the part of the wheat plant that can create a whole new plant of wheat. So it's highly nutritious. Um, it's packed full um, of omega-3 fatty acids and fiber and it's um, it kind of has like a nutty flavor so it's really delicious too. Um, however, because it would be able to create a whole new plant, it does have gluten in it. So if you are gluten free, this would not be a recipe to use. Um, and also I, um, I I know that I'm going to be posting it soon on Instagram or I have posted it before, I'm sure. Um, I am still a little bit new to gluten-free baking and gluten-free cooking. Um, so if you have any tips, let me know in the comments below because I do want to learn more. Um, gluten has never been something that I've had to take out of my diet. Um, so it's not something that I'm very familiar with. Um, so if you have any tips, let me know in the comments below. Um, so let's get into the recipe for my Honeycrisp Wheat Germ Breakfast Muffins. Okay, so to a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add a cup of all-purpose flour and then a cup of wheat germ. Um, if this is your first time using wheat germ, um, once you've opened the container that it's in, you do need to put it in the fridge. It's something that I always forget, but it can go rancid. Um, so then you're gonna add a third cup of sugar, four teaspoons baking soda, and then a half a teaspoon salt. Um, and then mix together the dry ingredients. Um, so yeah, so wheat germ, um, because of it containing a good amount of omega-3 oils, once oxygen starts to get to it, it can turn rancid. It's not a huge deal if you forget to put it in the fridge, because um, I do it all the time. Um, but when you open up the container, if it still has a nutty flavor, it's still okay. Um, if it doesn't and it starts to smell sour, then it is turning rancid. Um, so then you want to add a one egg that's been well beaten and then one and one thirds cup milk which I use unsweetened almond milk and then a fourth cup of vegetable oil and then mix that together. Um, and once you start mixing this together, you can just leave it the way that it is here and make muffins just like this, but we are gonna make um, these be an apple cinnamon uh, muffin. I personally think that with the wheat germ, because it does have a nutty flavor to it, that um, apples are my favorite to put with it. Um, so for this recipe, we're gonna be adding a half teaspoon cinnamon, and then a cup of chopped apples, which I like to use Honeycrisp apples. They're tart, they're sweet, they're crisp, um, just all around a good apple to use. Um, and I personally like to leave the skin on. Once it's baked, it's soft enough that you don't really realize that it's there, so just leave it on. Um, mix that together, and then you're ready to start filling in your muffin tin. Um, and you do wanna make sure that it is greased. Um, and you're going to be using about a fourth cup uh, for each muffin. And as you can see, my muffin tin has seen some things in the years that I've used it. So go ahead and start filling it in, um, like I said, a fourth cup for each muffin. And then you're going to bake it at 425 for 20 minutes. And you are good to go.
All right, so that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. The recipe for the Honeycrisp Wheat Germ Muffins is on the blog and also the uh, two studies that I had mentioned in this video, they have been posted also below in the description. Um, if you haven't already subscribed so that um, any new videos will pop up into your feed, I'm still planning on just creating two videos um, a month, so about every other week. So please subscribe and like the video. And if you have any questions, you can always leave me a comment. Um, you can also follow me on my blog, adifferentbeat.com, and then also my Instagram uh, page, which I will be showing in just a moment. Um, but other than that, keep finding your beat, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Click the subscribe link, 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 link.